internet connection is not stable. Your internet connection is not stable? No. There's a whole half foot of snow here. Okay. The power seems to be stable enough. For now. Well, I hope you can stick around. Anyway. Starting one of my all-time favorite game series. Definitely one of my favorites to ever grace the PlayStation. This game would start. Come on, PlayStation, now. <laughs> you uh, tuned in? Hello? Talk to me. Okay. Talk to me. How about you, Raven? Um, I have to fix the antenna. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm tuned in. So, what can I say about Flight Cooper? This is a game I got in 2003, the original thing. It was like, I think it was like my first game for the PlayStation 2. And it really, uh, it really kind of set game the I tone. Did. What did you get for your PlayStation 2 to start off with? Spider-Man 1. I'm sorry. Not even Spider-Man 2, the good one. <laughs> Just Spider-Man 1. That was my first and only game for, like, two years. I had this, Jack and Daxter. And, um, shoot, what else did I even have? start off with. Oh, I had Looney Tunes back in action. And then Policia. New game. Sly! Come in! Sly! Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Their models keep moving because you can you can move them with the stick. I was wondering what was up with Sly. <laughs> oh. So Dylan, how many mascot platformers did you play growing up? <laughs> I guess that's a no. <laughs> <laughs> Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy? It is indeed a no. I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. According to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button, and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Oh, what does Mario camp as? No, he's a mascot platformer. Oh, then. I played Super Mario Galaxy mm -hmm. on the Wii. I had a fun time with that. That was a, that was a pretty fantastic yeah, game. Here, I don't ever, I never finished it, but I just handled it. I personally preferred um, the tightness of uh, Sunshine. Nice job, you're in. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. Le wanted. <laughs> oh, that Panda King. Yeah. So, um, this is uh, honestly the odd one out in terms of the series. But, like, because all the other ones, 
operate differently. This is very much following a by the numbers mascot platformer format. There is not much mm. super unique about this first game other than I guess it's you can say it's character one. it's characters in our style. But it only gets Later better from go, here. Sly. This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. Nine, three, seven. Nice job! You got it! If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. Yeah, uh, the audio is desynced. <laughs> you foolish raccoon. I've oh, caught you well, red handed. Ah, just at certain either. points because it's based on the HD collection, which had some audio issues. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Aha, uh -huh. and I was going to give it to you as a little token of my. Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Why is he so big? That's another thing that you only notice. <laughs> <laughs> like, her model is as big as it needs to be in any encounter. Could tell this was an early PlayStation game. Early play PS2 yeah. game, yeah. <laughs> Once again, my gang and I had given. Now, you can mainly tell when you look in the background and see that there's like three buildings. <laughs> Finally, the secret police file I've been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. Gotta find if there's. You see, I come from a long um, line of master thieves subtitles. who kept all their secrets of sneaking mm -hmm. and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. Hello. Hello. Sorry, was that quiet was for nice so that piece of work we could uh, hear the actual. No, my, my fucking me if you want thing froze. Oh, <laughs> I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. Let me see here. Is it no, for a fact, my connection wow. is absolute dumpster fire right now because I'm stuttering every few minutes. Mm. Yeah, I'm checking my thing. All right, so I'm not. It is not. I've already out. plotted a route to our and first Alex, we are target. pretty convinced that it is not you. 
just I I have to check because sometimes it'll be my on my end. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. So, is the implication here is that they just took a road trip through the ocean from France to near Wales? I want to say that there's a... I know that there's a bridge between um, that crosses the English Channel, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but that was like a huge stretch of ocean. I doubt there's a bridge that is that big. It's a video game. They drive to Nevada from France. <laughs> hey, Sly, I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what worries me. Yeah, my... ...been for a reason. Mm. Well, uh, hang in there, but in terms of certain things, I guess you can, um, when you get back home, reels, you can watch the playbacks to see what you miss. I, 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 I can probably just do the playback. When I get I love the end of that Alright, let's see here. Now, these clues act as, um, you know, they're collectibles. You can collect enough of them in a level and you get to open a safe that gives you, like, a couple of, uh, little nice, um, uh, extra abilities. They're not necessary to finish the game, but they do, you know, they're nice little abilities to have. Some of them are pretty useful. Um, the game does operate on a sort of like one hit to death system. According to my amphibio positioning system, that Man. big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. The rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. So, you have one hit point. You get hit once, you're down. But um, they have what's to called say, lucky hey, charms. Don't try to fight things. Uh, but if you get what's called uh, lucky charms, which are horseshoes, um, you can get up to two extra hit points. Um, you can collect lucky charm every time you hit a uh, hundred points as well. Nice job so far, Sly. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. I forgot how nice the music in this game is. It is pretty nice. 
um, for next stream, I'm gonna see if I can't find a uh, option somewhere, maybe in the. Um, oh no, Alex! I already checked. There, is, there is no subtitles in this. Not even in the collection at all. Jesus. Nope. That's the only a subtitles. The only subtitles that there are during the uh, cuts, the little um, yeah, Binocucom segments. That's it. That's that's a real shame. Like that is like I feel like every game should come with at the very least subtitles and in my opinion also closed captioning. But at the very least subtitles. So there's one of these in each sort of level where you play as Sly and just run around. Because there are some missions that are differently structured that can't re aren't really conducive to looking around for collectibles. And the, the codes are randomized, so can't. I mean, you could BS it, but. Actually, they're not that randomized, but the game, but it is a thing of the game won't even let you attempt to enter any codes if you don't have the actual amount of things. So, extra little attack move. Honestly, one of the best moves in the game. And this is the main collectible for progression. Keys. Treasure keys. Man, am I glad that future games ditched this for an entirely different format. It's not that it's not fun, but it is a very emblematic thing above the early, about the early 2000s and how platformers were. That blimp looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police file suggests, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine. But I warned you. I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. I also love uh, Bentley's voice actor. If I remember correctly, the only one who's never like returned for a returning role was Carmelita. Yeah, she was Except like replaced for, like, basically every game. She, I think she had the same voice in two games. That was Raleigh. Um, as you see, I've got a, a gold uh, horseshoe on my back. That's my lucky charm. So I now are, I'm at, um, I can get hit three times. Well, I should say I can get hit two times without dying. The third will kill me. Fun. Better close mm -hmm. those furnace doors. Jump and press the square button. That'll slam them shut. <laughs> Eureka! We're in the engine room! My analysis tells me that if you trace the spinning crankshaft all the way back to its source, you'll find Raleigh's treasure key and sabotage. 
punch his machine while you're at it. Remember, Sly, hold down the circle button near the blue stealth auras to perform super sneaky thief moves. And if you collect a hundred uh, coins when, while you've already got um, full, like uh, while you already have a gold um, horseshoe, then you go ahead and get kicked up to. Uh, you also get a new life, an extra life, I should say. Excuse me. I do like the little touches, like when you get close to enemies that haven't recognized you yet. It um, has a little bass tune play. Bass gets plucked for every step you take. Okay, there aren't any enemies around here, so I don't know why it's playing the bass right now. Why are there like five hand blades? Don't worry about her. Evil lair. Also, why are there only two blades per thing? I don't know, evil why lair. Why you four? Interesting how Raleigh is a, fr a British frog and has walrus as his minions. You know, I don't know. <laughs> this game operates on cartoon logic. Yeah. Oh yeah. Big time cartoon logic. I think those guys after work go and like hang out at the local association football club. At, you know, getting at a pub, cheering on their favorite team. I mean, the walruses look like those exactly those kind of people. I don't know if. Raleigh would even allow them time off. He doesn't seem like that kind of caring individual. I didn't say he was caring. But, uh, they would probably have some time off. Would they? Really? Like, where are they gonna go? Off of the evil island that has a never-ending torrent of storm? I am missing one bottle. This is gonna drive me insane. You say you don't need all of them. No, no, you do need all the bottle. I don't need them to finish the game. Oh, there's the bottle. Where the fuck did you see that? It was in the corner of my eye. I can't believe I pieced this one together. Try two, two, seven. Like, the codes are um, linked to which order you do them. You will always get the same codes in the same order, but if you're like, but if I'm doing like this mission third, then the then it would have got then I would have gotten a different code. Faster rolling than anyone else could on the run. Hold down the triangle button to use this move. Switch between your power ups using L2 and R2. Yeah. You get the codes and the powers in the same order every time. I never really use this power, but that that's what that is. Just rolling. Such a goofy looking power. <laughs> mm -hmm. What is your power right now? I can turn into a ball. Well, you remember that guy Sonic the Hedgehog? Samus is 
is that you? It's like you found a medic. Turn to a ball. Sam Samus, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. As far as Samus is concerned, ball is life. <laughs> Back to the hub. I remember my grandmother was really concerned at me when I brought this to their house to play. Why and was I she concerned? To, because I started to draw little comics of little animal people that were trying to do heists, and she said, You're gonna grow up to be a criminal, aren't you? <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, far more exciting life than this one we were And, and okay. my grandfather said, yes, that is exactly what's going to happen. He plays a video game, so he's going to become that. That's why I became an Italian plumber. Aren't you German? Security. Like, not anymore. <laughs> Well, to be fair, my that grandfather was not German. Ah, uh, okay. Ah. I honestly don't know what he was. I can't ask, but... <laughs> no, you know what? He was ah, not giving oh. a fuck. So, ah, fuck! So he didn't ask what flavor of human he was? I, I would have assumed Blurpleberry. Blurpleberry. <laughs> I am the one who said flavor first, so yeah. No, my grandfather adored spite like it was a fucking drug, so. <laughs> spite? <laughs> Maybe he was French. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that just how they it. hang out? I guess. And hey, what do these guys do? do? They, uh, they they do belly flops. Why? Eh. It's in the union contract that they're allowed to do belly flops. Like, what about a raise? Since I, I allow you to not die. It's not even that they allow. Like, Raleigh allows them to not die, it's just... Now, like, now the union contract asked for belly flops, it didn't ask for raises, so I said, what the hell, they can do belly flops. You guys remember that old PlayStation 2 slogan that they had? Nope. What one? So back when PlayStation 2 was their main, was Sony's main console, the the uh, slogan for it was "Play in your world, live in ours." Press the circle to enter the vault code. Whoever thought this code up knew what they were doing. That sounds almost Dial threatening. In four, three, six. <laughs> Play in your world, like live, like live in your world, playing ours. Like, 
though I, I, I was backwards. Sorry, I was sorry. I, I, it was I, living your I world play now. Said... Okay. Thank sorry, that was my fault. Well, I do remember okay, somebody let's, made let's, a uh, uh, somebody made a uh, play who who uh, was a big PlayStation fan. He had me. I don't know. He had got a custom jacket made, and it's it for the announcement of PlayStation 3. And instead of it saying "Live in your world, play in ours," it said it "said Live in your world, die in mine." <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I mean, honestly, oh even God. if, even if it was supposed to be live in your world, play in ours, that sounds like mildly threatening. Like I don't even get to, you know, enjoy other worlds. I have to play in this one. I can't even play in my world. I live <laughs> here. Yeah, the guy was a big fan of a, uh, like uh, some, some shooter. He was a big player of Killzone. Wow. Well, you know, it's the most nothing video game. It's lit. Uh, Killzone One was apparently good enough that people were excited for Killzone Two, and and honestly, Kill it, Killzone is it's unfortunate for Killzone that it's basically been forgotten. But hey, their developer moved on to literally bigger and better things. Horizon Zero Dawn is well beloved, and it is nothing like Killzone. <laughs> I always forget that they made Killzone. Yeah. Well, I like how I can just farm lives off of that. This is also the only one of the games that has lives. The next, the next few games are just not structured in that way at all. They also have a health bar. Yeah, the other games have a health bar. Nice light. You can adjust the game camera using the right analog stick. And to bring the camera behind you, click it. A cunning disguise. Oh yeah, this one. Those rats got pegged. Raleigh appears to have booby-trapped this entire place. I'm gonna enjoy this. Don't you get it, Sly? If you step on that rug, forget about becoming a master thief. You'll be a master dartboard. Wait a second. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? I don't know. It looks pretty risky and very unsanitary. Only one way to find out. I like how the game relishes in its cartoon nature. That is a move that only freaking Naked Snake would attempt. <laughs> well. That's all it's Snake would try it too. I also like the little they continue with the uh base plucking. So far so good. I bet if you stayed still inside the barrel, the guard won't be able to see you. Even if he shines his flashlight on you. Love doing that. Mm. All right. Oh, shit. didn't even realize this is here. Yank. I also like that he just walks on his toes. Fuck! I just love how loud it gets as you just run. 
concerned about Sly. He keeps on just running over bottles and they explode. <laughs> what about him hooves? <laughs> God damn it. You bring uh, that back after a literal year. Fuck. I think I'm homing. Alright, you know what? Fuck. That's my own fault. At least I don't have to grab the uh, bottles again. I will. Take care of those first. Come on. I said it's a super horseshoe, and when it's on the ground, when you pick it up, when it's a golden horseshoe. I already had one silver horseshoe. If you have two, if you get a second silver horseshoe, it turns it turns uh, gold. Gold means I have two horseshoes. With the help of a straight edge and compass, the answer was simple. Dial in two four two. Two. Four. Up. Two. I want Bentley at one point to just be like, the code is one two three. It's genius. Who would have thought? <laughs> this one features Dev Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. He used this to get by all kinds of airborne threats. Hit the triangle button while in the air to slow down time. How does one learn? To slow down time. It's a cartoon world, hun. Yeah, but at least JoJo has, like, rules for this. I, 
I wouldn't think too hard about it. Yes, I am saying JoJo has more rules than this. See, here, here's the rules about cartoons. This is a freaking show where a monkey has a stand that's just a boat. <laughs> here's the thing about... Um... Wait, hold on, isn't there also a pigeon or something that has a stand? Yes. Uh, here's the reason, it's, it's the same reason people don't question things. Like, here's the reason why people don't question things with Looney Tunes. Because Looney Tunes doesn't care about physics, and has made itself consistent in showing it doesn't care about physics or how things happen. Things happen by yeah, rule of funny Looney and nothing else. Sabbath said its rule set is that it has no rules. Yes. But that itself like, is a rule. Well, its only rule is what is funny wins. What is the what is whatever the yes. is the funniest in that moment is like is what dominates. Even if it like even if it didn't work if it worked before or didn't work before, the thing is, is it funny to do it now or is it funny for it to not work right now? If it the like whichever is makes whatever makes the scene the funniest is what leads. Let's do it now. Do it. Do it. Make me go hee hee ha funny. Mm -hmm. Now with this one, it's not really the rule of funny. It's but it is rule of like. I don't fucking know. Like just it's a rule of just go with it. It's fun. You and the player are supposed to be having fun. I mean, they already established that you can hit, that they know about the controller and the circle button, so fuck it. Give me that coin. safe that was at the beginning of the level. Well, it's not that big, so it's not too far to backtrack.
And here we go. Press the circle to enter the vault code. I'm unbeatable! No code can stand before me! It's got to be 579! 579. Interesting! Chris Cooper's dive collection technique. This move is an extension of the dive move you already know. Just jump and hit the triangle button near breakable objects for some fast breaking, fast collecting action. Now I have a ground pound for the dive. That's it. Yeah, I didn't show off slow. Dylan, how many animal-based cartoons did you watch as a kid? Uh, I can't remember. There we go. You said you can't remember how many? Um. Fuck, what did I watch? God damn. <laughs> Fuck it, too much work for Brain. <laughs> and I'm broken. Alright, one sec, I gotta run to the restroom real fast.
Okay, I'm back. Yo. Alright. Opened that door. Astonishing! All my calculations led me to believe you had failed to knock out that generator. Never was good at math. Well, here's a real test for you. I found a way out to Raleigh's hideout, but unfortunately, it is doomed to failure. You're not gonna tell me I have to shoot myself out of that cannon. I'm afraid that's the only way. Now you're talking. You're really scaring me, man. Anyway, to get inside that thing, you have to steal all seven of Raleigh's treasure keys. So what are we waiting for? You show me those hollow what's-its? You mean my holographic markers. Yeah, yeah. And I'll swipe whatever it takes to get shot out of that cannon and steal back my family's devious raccoonus. Hey. So I've already stolen five treasure keys. Let me know. What's two more? Okay, so this is one of those levels that isn't actually a platforming level, it's something else, so there's no, um, there's no vault here. You found it, Sly! This is where Raleigh's gang of crabs stashes his sunken treasure! Use your sub to blast them! The left analog stick controls the sub. Give it a try. Dual right. stick shooter. Use the right analog stick to fire its gun. Uh-huh, that's it. Remember, you can always drive the sub in one direction while firing in another. To earn a treasure key, you'll need to collect all 40 chests. Do not let a crab take one into a tomb. the dual stick shooter part. So, Pete's hut is still closed. There ain't no lights on. Well, ain't nobody in there. And shift was supposed to start two hours ago, so I don't know. They heard you was coming <laughs> back for your last paycheck, and they said, TURN OFF THE LIGHTS! <laughs> <laughs> WE AIN'T HERE! Can't get his paycheck if they if we ain't open. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is that I know jobs that would do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, why don't we just give him back his paycheck? Cause corporate said we ain't never give nobody their final paychecks. Not unless they show up with the lawyer. Oh. We're just about done with this world. Done boat graveyard.
<laughs> I do like the voice acting of a number of the villains in this game. It's got a lot of personality. That's a word for it, definitely. <laughs> personality. <laughs> I mean, the whole thing about it is, when it comes to, like, cartoon villains, the hammier the better for me, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, subtlety is not what I'm here for when I'm watching cartoons. I want them to revel in it. Like, Willem Dafoe st Green Goblin style um, performances should be the standard <laughs> for cartoon films. <laughs> that is the minimum for me. Like, you should be gunning for Mark Hamill anytime he plays a villain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fire Lord, Ozai, Freaking. Joker. Um, Joker. Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> Calling him a villain. <laughs> I don't know. Is, try is going up to your nephew's fucking bedroom. And then having a lightsaber above his head, and then only not doing it because you then realize at the last moment, hey, maybe this is kind of wrong. Does that not constitute as villain behavior? <laughs> I also love the crazed look in his eye. Coin magnet technique. All she had to do was stand near money, and it would magically jump into her purse. From now on, you'll automatically collect Oh yeah, you got more orbs. <laughs> it's st I still think that is the stupid mis like misnomer of the Devil May Cry franchise. Wow! Well, I don't even know what just happened there. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Rigging perk name, get more orbs. What does it do? It does not give you more orbs. It's just a, you know, automatic It just magnetizes field. them to you. All right, let's go take care of the boss, Raleigh. Listen, Raleigh, wipe up my family and steal what's mine, you better expect company. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. How sloppy of me not to finish the job. Obviously, we should have snuffed you out as well. So, without further ado, let me make amends by what? Bloating to gargantuan size and squashing you like the insignificant bug that you are! Bring it on. He is having a time. <laughs> 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 yeah, these boss fights are pretty simple. I mean, you say that, and like two of them were kicking your ass the last time. Okay, one was literally because the audio sync issues fucked with that boss fight because that boss fight re relies on the musical cues.
Like, there's a musical boss fight in this game, Dylan, and it's a really great boss fight in the original, but because of the audio issues of the HD remaster, um, hey. it, it really sucks. Yeah, I remember you guys telling me about this a lot, but it's just quite disappointing. Mm -hmm. Well, gloat all you want, Sly Cooper. You're no match for Mugshot, my villainous cohort in Utah. You Mesa City is so well guarded, a snake couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. I like how he so helpfully Lally tells us where the, the next guy is. is. Held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's ninja spire jump. A technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox. Who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. Hot chick with gun busted amphibious young With mouth. the storm machine out of commission, boats found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather, and then headed back home, excited for our next Hello. heist. Hi. Did you see the, the subheader for that article? What did it say? You can use it to warp directly to Isle any of Rat you've to be renamed visited. Isle of Mice. We're all set to go to Mesa City. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying yourself, Murray. We're all set to go to Mesa City. Someone has to. Well, it had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the English five. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. He was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street brawling, tough as nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. So he's holed up in Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. I also love these title cards. That's a real style to the world. I don't know. Hey, Sly, I thought you said Mesa City was going to be loud and busy. This looks more like a ghost town. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the ninja spire jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. Hmm. <laughs> Worked out nicely. Okay, 
now I have questions about this. How is... I... Oh, yeah, we, we had an entire <laughs> conversation about this. What separates the dogs who are people from the dogs who are animals? It's that goofy Pluto question, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, see, Pluto's been de-evolved. <laughs> With all the terrible things that Mickey has done in the Kingdom Hearts universe, you'd think that it'd be behind him. <laughs> to enslave somebody and take their intelligence so that they're not but a mere animal. Yeah. <laughs> I want to hear Dan send a pin for Mickey. Fuck that piece of shit. Just the whole thing of, like, because... It is not even the worst thing that the mouse has done. Have you seen what he's been doing with the Star Wars franchise that are not TV shows? <laughs> Rogue One was nice. Now was okay. that. <laughs> I mean, so Solo was okay. Solo was fine. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a godder. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing. But it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. Going. And fuck me. Fucking gambit over here. Your explanation explains Pluto and Goofy, but it doesn't explain these guys. He's a literal super criminal. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? You think he's above slavery? Oh, so you're saying that they're completely sentient. He's just, this is punishment to Not me. Anymore. <laughs> Jimmy Tutos over there, he uh, he didn't perform on too on one too many jobs, so boss he uh, made an example. That's Johnny Two Feet over there. I didn't know it's Johnny Two Feet because of limp. <laughs> All right, let's get back to that uh, thing. Fuck. I can't wait till I get the ability that makes me immune to that. <laughs> What's that? Don't worry about it. Is it anime? No. Pretty meme. Is the meme anime? No. Okay. And it'd be funnier. Press the circle to enter the vault code. A little bit of higher mathematics and voila! Dial in three, one, four. Three, one. Outstanding! You've uncovered Rob 
Lieutenant Cooper's patented explosive hat technique. Use the triangle Highly situational, button to but I actually do use it a couple of then times. Then use the triangle button again to detonate it. Better back off to a safe distance first. I'm, I'm struggling to figure out what the layout of the approach to the town is when it's not an obstacle course. Like, what the hell? Huh? The, the, this is the same Sonic problem. Mm, yeah. The world is made for the character to explore. It is not made for anyone to actually live in. Like Speed Highway and Sonic Adventure. <laughs> that Hot Wheels track of a freeway. If you had, like, well, I say human, but if you had a humanoid actually this live there, isn't shy. shit okay, would break so down in somewhere. under two how minutes. Are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chooses to live in a reasonable fire hydrant. That sounds racist. <laughs> now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. I know he's a dog, so he'll probably live in a fire hydrant. That's not a reasonable assumption. That's a stereotypic. That's a stereotyping assumption. I mean, I would have thought the stereotype would be that he lived in a doghouse. You know, I need a voice to admit that may be driving everyone out of town. While necessary to set up shop, might have taken a hand out of the business. So, now I hope you mugs will be obliged to any visitors and come here to lose their money in my casino. But, I got a reliable tip that a cop might be stupid around the operation. Got word that a kite, a cop might show up. So, assume anybody around's a cop. So just blow them away. Even me, especially me. Any visitors? Ah, we lost Dylan. There we go. There was the assumption it happened. Murray is in position to make a run for this key. Okay, so what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that yeah, blast Send him station. another invite. Sweet. Use the left analog back. stick to aim and press the square button to fire. I'll do my best. I'm going in, Sly. <laughs> oh, it's inverted controls. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember we had bit this entire conversation before. How fast can you shoot that thing? Really quickly. Fuck! Inverted control! No! God damn it! <laughs> are they are they both inverted? Like up move, and like up down and left? If it did, God, the way it feels sometimes, it, it honestly feels like it is sometimes. I heard the justification of somebody why they play with inverted controls, and it's the most fucky can like justification I've ever heard. Well, I remember old games in certain formats were like that was the standard and. The non-inversion um, was new, and then um, somewhere down the line, um, so like once the non-inversion became an option, you know, people uh, there were people who were yeah. used to the older the games that were all inverted. So uh, no, god damn it! <sighs> Did you just kill him? I hit the explosive barrels. I killed him. Fly. 
It's hard enough to aim with this finicky thing on uh, inverted, but like I hate having to move this like, at all. It's just, ugh. But yeah, the oldest standard was like inverted controls, and then non-inverted controls were uh, the new thing. And so they like for the older gamers, they would have the option to not have it inverted. So, uh, the explanation I was given um, from a YouTuber that I used to follow as to why he plays all of his games inverted was that what direction do, like, what direction when you tilt your head back are you facing up? So, hit, so with analog sticks and the mouse, he always has going down is up. We lost Dylan again. If you tilt your head forward, you're looking down. I mean, that's good for him. I don't like it, but it's good for him. <laughs> Almost there. I was fucking moving. There's our boy. Hey. So, yeah. Also, to clarify, he did say, stage, like, I am not expecting anyone to think this is the superior style of gaming. I am just explaining why I play this way. I'm like, okay, you know, good, because that seems very strange to me still. That is his way to play, and, he, and you know, uh, no person is obligated to play on the control scheme that I prefer. I, like, if that's the way they, f they have fun, and it feels natural to them, then yeah. I have a friend who um, really enjoys video games, but they never grew up playing consoles, so... And they started playing What's video games on, on PC, well, so the only way they can play is mouse and keyboard, period. A controller feels like a game in their hands. In their hands for them. For the winner? Yeah, three times around the track for a key. It's all you, man. Drive the van with the left analog stick. Oh, this is and the worst. If you worst. pick up any natural power-ups, you can get a boost by pressing the square button. Go get them. I'm on it. Oh, there, yeah, Dylan's uh, unstable connection really rearing its head there. Oh wow, I, I remember this. This is just not great. <laughs> Oh, this looks like it controls bad. It could control worse. Oh man, I'm on the last lap and I'm just not there. Oh, get out the way! Got a mariachi car. Oh, get out of my way! 
Yeah! Way to go, man. <laughs> Nice job getting in, but huh? look out for those guards. Mugshot's got those machine gun toting dogs hunting like a pack. So Raven, did you ever um go and try out any of these games after I showed you them? Originally? No. No? no money. money. That kind of impedes the whole trying things out. destroy the tiny little legs there. Yeah. Nine. 
30, 31, 2, 3. So, mm -hmm. how is anyone supposed to gamble here? Uh, Crap's tables are under electrified water. This is the place for the eels camp. <laughs> the eels. <laughs> These are the eels tables, the high roller eels. Quite obvious. <laughs> Four more. Oh yeah, I forgot the um, people who made Slot Cooper also made the Ghost of Tsushima. Yep. <laughs> As you can tell from their quite similar gameplay style. Yeah, I mean, if you've played this game, you've basically played Ghost of Tsushima. Well, I'm getting swift with the cipher of these codes. Dial 338. Three. Hey. I gotta check. I gotta check to see if um fucking okay. this page is from infamous your is on PlayStation now. Cooper. He discovered a way to speed up the clock. Perfect for those long stakeouts. Just hold down the triangle button to use it. So Dylan says he's gonna just watch the playback. And he'll rejoin us for the live stuff next time when he's at home. Alright. Sly, this giant roulette wheel is spinning too fast to jump counterclockwise around it. You'll have to jump in the other direction to try to land on the green section. Let's do this. That should amount to, I want to say about four. Yeah, four of those things. Sugar keys. The Boneyard. Look at that ugly mug. I am, and I find it infinitely fascinating. Huh? My x-ray detection devices reveal that a secret elevator to Mugshot's penthouse is contained within that giant head. So how do we get in? Behind this locked wall, there's a lever that summons the elevator. But you need all seven keys to open it up. I'm on it. Oh, two to tango. Classic. Oh, Dylan's not gonna be able to watch the pursuit level. Oh, he'll watch it and play back. Yeah. Yuck, these rooftops are filthy. Well, they are the only way to get to the key, since my locator tells me it's in a jewel case somewhere near Mugshot's penthouse. Well, 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 look who just walked into my crosshairs, Sly Cooper. About time you showed up, Miss Fox. Was getting worried about you. Thought you took a wrong turn somewhere back in Paris. The only one making wrong turns is you, Sly. I'd suggest you surrender before I paralyze you with my good friend, the shock pistol. Now see, a girl whose best friend's a firearm's got issues. A little dinner, a little dancing. I think I can help you out. Hmm, <laughs> sounds romantic. As long as you don't mind dining in jail. Nah, I hear the service is lousy. Once I catch you, you'll know for yourself. 
course the service is lousy in prison. Well, unless you're, of course, at a white-collar prison. I hear they yeah. serve steaks on Wednesdays. Filet mignon. I forget our raccoons omnivores. Raccoons are whatever the hell they need to be. <laughs> They're scavengers. They dig through your trash and run off with your dis like discarded scraps of food their little people hands. I forgot that they have people hands. Ugh. <laughs> so weird. when you could pick the pockets of guards in slide two. Yeah, that is so useful. Okay, here we go. I know Navajo code talk. Try five, three, two. Wait. What? It's a good thing I know Navajo code talk. talk. He knows Navajo? Not just Navajo, you need to know Navajo code talk that is uh, different from regular Navajo. These files, I'll be able to help you find all his clues and it's a code base built off of Navajo, but it is not Navajo on its own. The reason why they, uh, they use it in World War II, the reason why they um, used it is because, again, Navajo has no, basically has no commonality with any other spoken language. It is completely unique. So, if you don't know Navajo, the Navajo base, it is completely and totally impossible to even begin to, um, to, like, attempt to decipher Navajo code talk. It's gonna take her a little bit to, to get off that balloon and find her way back. But if she's already here, then we're on a timetable. She just teleported. Huh? She just teleported when the balloon started to fade a little bit up. She teleported away. Hold a night crawler. I don't have to deal with this shit. Alley heist. I do love this uh, track for this level.
It's, it's just a catchy tune. <laughs> that is the that is my favorite walking around like animation for him. The little side shuffle when he's mm -hmm. kneeling down. you wasted your extra lives just because you missed one one that is not that I can't backtrack to like I need those things to respawn Stutter there. Blink. Not sure why those bottles carry money, but whatever. Sleep. The combination is five six five. Five. It's five. I like how every um track has like three different versions. You know, the oh, sneak yeah, version, the regular heavy. version, it's and the Suzanne action Cooper's version. Notes pertaining to mm -hmm. water safety. With this knowledge under your belt. You won't have to waste a charm whenever you fall into water. Now, invulnerable to drowning. Back. I need to take care of a thing.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Hello. Okay, last mission. So, hun. Mm -hmm. Um, are we going for another hour or an hour later since we showed right, we'll up go late? For another, we'll go for another hour since we showed up late. Just immediately get myself killed. <laughs> See those neon tubes? I know they look like you can't climb on them. What was that fucking noise? That sounded like a cat. I bet you could pull it off. Uh, it sounds like a car that fell and hit a dog. I'm wondering why Mugshot mm -hmm. filled a water tower with, you know, bottles. Ironic reasons. The best reasons. <laughs> Do you ever wonder where the bat with nails thing became a, you know, a whole sort of thing? Cause I wonder. Like, I see them in cartoons all but, the time. But, like, why they're used as a weapon? No, I mean, like, the bat's obvious. You know, it's a fucking club. Why the nails? I honestly don't know. Okay, I see three clues, which... Okay, then. I got a poison message for the two-bit thief who's making off with all my treasure keys. You're dead, Pally. If I give 
I really like the atmosphere of the of each level in the game, you know? Yeah. I like the music that goes along with it. It's all great. And the architecture is also just really fun to explore. Just the uh the way there are no real like perfectly straight build. Everything's just a little bit crooked. Just for the act of style and to make it look more cartoony. Gives it a lot oh. of character. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so, reason why it lists that um, mobsters and other criminals did it. Cheap and easy way to get a lethal weapon. Okay. Because if you, um, ah, it's Sir Andrew Cooper's thief replica buy like an actual club or a gun, it's something that people look out for. The wrong thing. Use the triangle button to put together a fake slide. You buy a bat or some na eh, or some nails. People might just think that you're doing some housework or. I mean, like, I'm, I'm, for a hobby. I mean, like, a bat is already a lethal weapon. You use it hard enough. But again, I'm just wondering why the nails. Well, the specifically. nails are the guarantee. Ah, okay. Well, at that point, I just get a reg regular metal bat. At that point, rather than a wooden bat, and stick nails through it. <laughs> the metal bat will finish the job easier than a wooden one. It's also that wooden bats are easier to swing. Way less. Depends on the uh, overall weight of the metal bat, but yeah. Would be an interesting stream playback. <laughs> like, <laughs> so why do people use certain tools to murder? I, I dare say, I feel like the uh, metal bat would be easier to clean. Unless, of course, the uh, the wooden one had an adequate finish, but then again, if you're hammering nails through it, then, you know, there goes the finish in some, in those spots. What? My boys have been yapping about some big, mysterious dude running around cracking skulls, and, <laughs> and, and this is it? You're the monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick. Hey, wait a second. I seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? Wow! You're a Cooper? You know that Thingus Rakamagookus had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big boys. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? <laughs> what are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joint. I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock! Oh. 
So why is a guy living in Utah got a uh, Jersey accent? Because he's a mobster. <laughs> kind of like how I gave uh, Child Edgeworth a fucking <laughs> like New York accent upstairs. and then gave him an English accent as an adult when I was voice acting him. You know, I'm not even totally clear on what the logic is in this boss fight. Like, I, I know what we're supposed to do, but I don't know how lighting the lights makes him, hurts him, but you know, it's video game. My, my guess is that it superheats them. Okay, but like how? We're not lasering his his hands. Yeah, well, not important. Uh, video games, hun. Yeah. Like you beating a big strong bruiser like me it ain't right you want all of that stupid picture book you're gonna have to go down to Haiti and cross paths with Miss Ruby and then believe you me you don't want to be you mugshot section of the Phoebus Raccoonus <laughs> contained an entry from my gunslinging ancestor Tennessee Kid Cooper his specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. I like the little moves perfected through parlor, piano, jaunty music going on there. <laughs> getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing and dragged that canine steroid case off to jail. That was the end of Mugshot's gambling empire, and Mesa City's citizens soon returned home. While me and the boys, well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. So I'm banging these out like one hideout per hour. I figured out a way to get yeah. us to Haiti. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not a problem. This swamp is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from Mugshot's section of the Phoebus Raccoonus. You mean the raccoon rail walk? The roots and vines. 
lights around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. And we're in super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss. You'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. Skaters and grinding, ah. Uh, that was the bread and butter of the early 2000s. <laughs> oh yeah. Like every Tony game Hawk had Pro Skater. Either some kind of skate or grind on rails option. Tony Hawk Pro Skater was king. And a bunch of other games that were platformers had those had those mechanics in it too. Honestly, Mario was the odd one out without having any of that. It's pretty bad, but... Does Mario have grinding? I don't think it does. I think one of the newer games. took a video of Saudi Arabia. There is a bunch of snow that was packed and then sand blew over the snow. Uh-huh. So they lift the sand and then underneath the sand there's just a bunch of like clumps of white perfect snow. <laughs> Someone wrote down forbidden tiramisu. <laughs> <laughs> despite being of Haitian descent, so I couldn't speak on how swampy the land is. I'll have to ask my mother. Ruby's lair. To get in, you'll need that key on top of the tiki pedestal in the guard compound. Tiki. There's a bad mojo force field protecting it, so you'll have to destroy all five you of the know. purple candles surrounding hey, it. That Hawaiian thing. Uh, Hawaiian, Haitian, they're both brown, same thing, honestly. Both brown islanders. <laughs> Nothing is as disappointing as that fucking video of that one girl doing in this Ruby boss fight. I know that video was disappointing. That video is awesome because it no, lets you know how no, awesome the actual. No, no, let me finish. Hun. Oh, okay. Let me finish. Hun. I was gonna say nothing is more disappointing than that lady doing that boss fight, and then nobody will ever be able to do that ever again uh, without yeah. accounting for the lag. Yep, unless you still have an old PS2 that still works, because mine crapped out. <laughs> you get yourself a PS2 that still works, and a copy of the OG Sly Cooper that still works. Uh, did you get the safe? Thank you for reminding me. Safe is around here. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, 
then the combination has got to be 588. Okay, 588. Eight. Electrified! Kelly McCooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. Now your raccoon That's just a bunch of words <laughs> that make no sense bunch. together. <laughs> Plus, it should give you a nice tingling sensation. The Swamp's Dark Center. My paranormal scanner is maxing out on that structure. A reading like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. That is a whole series of accents right there. It's an interesting um, Louisiana accent, which Louisiana does have a high population of Creole and Haitian people. But yeah, the straight from the island accent is quite different. Ms. Ruby must really be trying if you've ever heard a Nigerian, that's how most Haitians actually she's trying sound. To keep something in. And so, <laughs> I can't believe that one video I sent you. Which one? Um, the girl on TikTok. You're gonna have to be more trying to play right? as um, Joseph and Mary from the Bible. I don't recall this one. I sent it to you yesterday. Uh, I'll probably have to look at that again. Motherfucker. And it's supposed to be like if they were Jamaican. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to that one. Listen, me pregnant now. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna have to look at that, yeah. Hello? Yeah? Sorry, my internet crapped out. Fuck! Well, I'm fine. I'm already immune to water. Let's see here. Okay. But yeah, just hearing this woman have a back and forth with herself. With, like very heavily accented <laughs> trying to tell the story of Joseph finding out Mary is pregnant with Jesus Found it because I had typed in 
um, funny TikToks, and it popped up saying, what are the funniest of Jamaican TikTok, and that video popped up, and I just started rolling. <laughs> oh yeah, a giant evil snake monster. Uh oh, oh shit. No! No! Gimme! I'm not apologizing. <laughs> I would rather give up. <laughs> That's a little close for comfort right there. Somebody sent their, their um, safe code to 1228. Oh, I sent my, my ATM code to 0001, zero, 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 one, because one. I'm number because one. I'm number one. <laughs> Using the data on this page, I should be able to tap the duty roster at each hideout and project guard All right, her, her option for operational security. Every, every world has at least one of those. Oh, actually, not even her operational security. That one's the least scary, I think. So I put that. An evil ghost. I don't even Funky. know where that ghost came from. Sly, you'd better be on your guard here. My paranormal scanners show this place is really haunted. Now that was very interesting. When you smash that gravestone, the ghost stopped coming. It must be some kind of ghost generator. Maybe if you smash them all, you'd be safe. It's a sort of totem. Uh, oh, there's sorry. no totems in Haitian stuff. Only ghost generators. Come on. Now, when I say totem, I don't literally mean like in those ways, but I mean like just a focuser. Anchoring point. Man, Baron Samji would not approve of this place. Just all these perversions of the dead. The law of death would have words with his beauty. Eighteen. 
A lot of jungle cats in this here swamp. I don't know if those are jungle cats, just... They're, oh, fucking, they're big fucking cats. I guess they do look like cats, but I don't know if they call them jungle cats. I ain't calling them fucking tabbies. <laughs> into the water but it's fine because I can swim it's still making that noise there are no enemies around I have no clue
motherfucker. Why are there lily pads on top of tree branches? I don't even know if those are lily pads. They kind of look like lily pads, so I guess. I won't deny that! I won't deny that they kind of do. I don't know enough about swamp... Like, swamp flora, so... Press the circle to enter the vault code. I live in California, where... Okay, okay, this is freaking... kind of a guess, but... Try one, two, eight. Moist air is not a thing that exists. These are the blueprints to this Ruby's production facility. I'll pipe this information into your binoculum. Use it to find breakables and clues nearby. This is her operational security. The last one was, uh... Information scan for guards. Oh, this Tiki level. Torches with the flamethrower on your swamp skiff. Use the left analog stick to steer and press the X button to fire the flamethrower. Oh, and one more thing. You need fuel from the flamethrower, and the only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. Run them down with a boat. One fish fuels one shot. Hurry, you only have two minutes to get all the torches lit. Why do I only have two minutes? <laughs> Really, hun? That was your first question out of all of these? But there were a lot more questions that I could ask. <laughs> How does running down, um, fucking piranha give me fuel? Why is there a swamp skiff that has a flamethrower? Who put the flamethrower on the swamp skiff? Why is it imperative that we have to light these tiki heads in this Haitian area? <laughs> there were a lot more questions that I could ask. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Where's the last one? <laughs> also, why the banjo? I mean, I guess if it... No! Maybe Louisiana, but I don't... Whatever. My guess is these people thought Haiti just translated to the bayou. Like, what do you know about Haitians? Oh, they live in Louisiana. Awesome. So Haiti, so Haiti and Louisiana have to be exactly the same. I don't know. <laughs> what 
those. And that's just back up that way. Whoa, stutter coming from PlayStation now. Where is that gate? Right here. Right on through, huh? Cauldron's lid, I might be able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby Skull Temple. Okay, sounds that's like a... we've got a plan. To get around that that's thing, an idea. try moving in the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you. Sent into danger. Oh my god, a green waterfall overflowing with bones and body parts. I'm telling you, the health department's going to come down big time on this dump. <laughs> The health department's gonna go out to the swamp and inspect the voodoo operation. Let's, uh. Sure. I mean, I guess. And you yeah. get those two bottles back at the beginning. Yeah, that is the plan. I just need to get a thing where I can drop on top of them because that jump looked a little far. Motherfucker. I love jambalaya. My acid reflex hates jambalaya. Uh, I, I shouldn't. Gotta have some Prilosec on standby. How did you get hit? I have no fuck. That's 
See, now that's actually accurate. Because zombie actually comes from Haitian voodoo. That's that's actually where that's first from. Now, again, Baron Zombie does not look kindly on such things, but yeah. Look at all the security. This must be the source of all the disgusting I don't know, huh? When I play with Smite, Baron Zombie seems pretty alright with the zombies. That's because people keep portraying him wrong. He's supposed to protect the dead, watch over them, prevent things like that from happening. Oh, if he hits you and then causes immunity frames, then you die. Yeah, if you get hit before you fall into something you're technically immune to, you can still die. So, like, water can't hurt me, but if I, somebody punches me and I fall into water, then it'll still play the water death animation. That's the last um, one of the uh, vaults. Yeah, because the next is the dual stick shooter skiff, and then making gumbo. Also, gumbo is really good. That vehicle seems to be outfitted with some sort of high energy cannon. Use the left analog stick to move, and aim the right analog stick in the direction you want to shoot. Remember, you can always shoot in one direction while moving in another. Spin. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh-huh. Um, at my current job. That looks so... Um, at my current job, they have um, been adding new things to the diet, and one of the newest things that they've been making is gumbo. For old white people. And I sat there thinking, like, we can't be giving, like, actual gumbo to older white people. Like, their digestive tracts wouldn't be able to fucking handle it. So then, I tried, I'm like, this is the least spicy thing I've ever eaten in my life. There's no flavor to it. It was effectively just a really hot tomato soup with chunky meat, uh, oh, vegetables in it. Gumbo, you gotta do it right or don't do it at all. I need to learn how to make seafood gumbo though. My mom knows how to make it and she's really good at it. And 
interesting. I wonder what the rationale is, but okay. Headstone generators. What else do I have to hit? Can you jump out of the thing? No! I can't! I'm. What the hell? Ugh, okay. The game was just glitching out for a minute. a lot of dust kick up. Also, why are there bomb-toting roosters? <laughs> why are the roosters trying to kamikaze each other? Man, this... This section is great. <laughs> Why is there a time limit? Why? No, let's try again. Why is this section in the game? Even if this, if this was unlimited time, this section would suck. Why 
Why is my cane missing? What the? Why did I just? <laughs> he tripped and then died. You, you died before the explosion. Yeah. So that tells me one of two things. Either the explosion is laggy, or the game's reading things too fast. doesn't help that the explosion doesn't really have an explosion ring it just ex it just makes the entire screen flood in smoke Ay, uh, which is not something that the original did like I cannot tell where the zone of danger is during that I got caught on that Where those guys were like right on top of each other and just weren't exploding. That's another thing. They don't just detonate on their own. They'll they uh you have to put them into each other. Run through three of them and kill none. Just one more, just one more. There we go. Hey. Yeah. Party apparently. What was that? The party apparently. Hmm. Tastefully bad juju. Yeah, well, you give me the creeps too, lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, Sly. I see your mouth moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Well, if jaws need to flap, then let them flap. See you in the next world, Slack Hooper. Ah, music, no music. I miss the old beat. Come back here. 
You can't run away forever. Quite true. Quite true. Why don't I have my servant chumly escort you over here? All right. What's the catch? Oh, not much. Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. What do you mean? Well, I'll unleash my mighty mojo magic upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, you'll get zapped. <laughs> A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. Yeah, beats off. And there we go. Can't do it off of ear, I just, have to do it off of sight. I just noticed the the turtle that you're on exploded. Yep. God damn it! <laughs> I... We're gonna be here a while. I just want... I just wish this was the original game. I'm mad that my PS2 don't work no more. I do like that the uh, things translate to dig that voodoo. because I need to focus here. You have to focus, I understand. That's why I'm not particularly trying to talk right now. Yeah. 
I swear to God, next time I play this game is gonna be on an emulator so that the music is fucking synced. <laughs> and stop trying to pay attention to the music. I'm, I know. It's just in the original, I could just let go and listen this to the music. This isn't the original. I know! I know. It's just... It, I, ah! You just scream liar. <laughs> no, I screamed I ya. Uh. Okay. Like Jackie's uncle in fucking Jackie Chan Adventures. Oh, uh, Jackie Chan Adventures. The music is like a solid second off. Mm -hmm. Jesus, I'm not even playing and it's throwing me the fuck off. Yeah. emulator and make a special video after all this where it's just the proper version of this boss <laughs> fight. <laughs> Is anything like the rest of you? I think I'll manage. Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes for my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival you know, my exit. The production of Zombie the Egyptian made Raccoon in the World Peace Accord of 71 <laughs> earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. Honey While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical mama. sunshine. <laughs> hard chickens do hard time. Travel plans to China have all been worked out. All right, so yeah, next time we come back, we're gonna be hitting up Panda King in China, and probably finish out this game and likely start the next one. It won't take, well, it'll only take about two hours to get through um, those ones. If we keep up this pace. All right. Thank you all for coming. Sorry for the hour delay before we actually got started. But yeah, it was good. Um, hope you had a wonderful time and I'll see you in the next one.